Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded uh, semi-circle with the center P, fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle with the center B, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, diameter EF uh, is parallel to this uh, radius BC. And moreover, uh, the area of this uh, green shaded region has been given to us as uh, 3 pi square units. We are talking about the green shaded region, this uh, region, this uh, region, and this uh, green shaded region as well. And now our task is uh, to find the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle. I'm going to label uh, this uh, radius uh, EP as uh, lowercase r. Then this other radius uh, PF is going to be lowercase r uh, as well. And furthermore, let's focus on this uh, quarter circle. I'm going to label uh, this radius uh, AB as uh, uppercase R radius and this uh, BC as uh, uppercase R radius as well. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center P with this point of tangency D. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, PD is the radius of this uh, yellow semicircle as well. So I'm going to label this one as lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees. And likewise, this angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, as well. Since uh, these are our uh, radii and these are our uh, tangent lines. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, EB segment length is going to be equal to this uh, PD length, which is uh, lowercase r. So therefore EB length has got to be lowercase r as well. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center B with this uh, point uh, F. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, segment BF length uh, is actually the radius of this uh, quarter circle. So I'm going to label this one as uh, uppercase R. And now let's make an observation once again. This uh, EF diameter is going to be lowercase R plus lowercase R is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, R. And now our task is to establish the relationship between the lowercase R and the uppercase uh, R as well. So therefore, let's focus on this uh, right triangle BEF. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is uh, uppercase R, whereas our two other legs are lowercase R and two times R. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have uh, r square plus uh, 2 times r whole square equals to uppercase r square. Let's go ahead and simplify r square plus uh, 4 times r square is going to be equal to uppercase r square. So therefore our uppercase uh, r square is going to be equal to 5 times uh, lowercase uh, r square. So thus our relationship uh, uppercase r square turns out to be equal to 5 times lowercase uh, r square. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region area equals uh, to the area of the quarter circle minus uh, the area of the yellow semicircle. And we know that our uh, green shaded region area has been given to us as uh, 3 times pi. So therefore we are going to focus on this uh, quarter circle uh, area and the area of this uh, yellow semicircle uh, as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, given quarter circle. 
and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area is equal to pi r square where uppercase r is the radius so therefore uh, the area of this quarter circle is going to become uh, pi times uh, uppercase r square and i'm going to divide that one by four and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow semicircle as well and now let's recall once again the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square labor lower case r is the radius so therefore uh, the yellow semicircle uh, area is going to be simply pi times uh, lower case r square and we are going to divide that one by two and now let's recall this equation once again the green shaded region area equals to the quarter circle area minus uh, the yellow semicircle area and we know our uh, green shaded region area has been given to us as 3 pi our quarter circle uh, area is pi times uh, uppercase r square divided by 4 whereas uh, the area of this uh, yellow semicircle is pi times uh, lowercase r square divided by 2 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, given uh, equation so we are going to have uh, 3 times uh, pi equal to pi uppercase r square divided by 4 minus uh, the yellow semicircle area is uh, pi lowercase uh, r square divided by 2 and now let's make an observation we can see this pi this pi and this pi they are gone so therefore we are ended up with uh, 3 equals to uppercase uh, r square divided by 4 minus lowercase r square divided by 2 and now we know that our uppercase r square value is pi times lowercase r square so i'm going to replace that uppercase r square with 5 times lowercase r square over here so therefore i can write down 3 equals to 1 divided by 4 times our uppercase r square value is uh, 5 times uh, lowercase r square minus uh, r square divided by 2 and now i'm going to multiply by 4 across the board with this term with this uh, term with this uh, term as well and here we can see 4 times 3 is going to give us uh, 12 equals to and here 4 and 1 fourth they are gone so we ended up with simply 5 times lowercase r square and here uh, 2 goes into 4 2 times so that is going to give us uh, minus uh, 2 times uh, r square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 3 times uh, lowercase r square equals to 12 and now i'm going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate r square this 3 and 3 is gone so therefore our lowercase uh, r square value turns out to be equal to 4 so thus our lowercase r value turns out to be 4 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, semicircle and we know that our uh, semicircle area has been given to us uh, pi times lowercase r square divided by 2 so therefore uh, the yellow shaded uh, semicircle area is going to be pi divided by 2 times i'm going to replace r square value as uh, 4 over uh, here so therefore uh, the yellow shaded uh, semicircle area turns out to be 2 times uh, pi square uh, units so thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded semicircle turns out to be 2 times uh, pi square units in other words the area of this uh, yellow semicircle is uh, 2 times uh, pi square uh, units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye